So I don't know if you've seen my old videos. Oh, oh god, no, no, stop it. They weren't the best quality, so to say. I wanted to tackle a lot of topics again made when I didn't really know what I was doing. The Purge was one of them. And I was going to remake that video when the last movie came out, but things got in the way. So when The Purge on USA Network offered to sponsor this video, I thought, oh boy, finally an excuse to remake it. The Purge franchise has such an interesting concept. 12 hours, no laws, go. So many stories could be told from that. How many people would react in that scenario? This being a TV series, there's more time to tell multiple different stories that flesh out characters. Honestly, the story introduces characters pretty well. The longer running time allows for a mystery to develop that you don't really get in a movie. If executed well, this could fix the problems people have with the movies. Don't just follow one group each movie, but show how different characters act throughout a single night. If there's one word I have for it, it's potential. It's been said this franchise should have just been a TV show to begin with, and this could be the answer. So since this is a franchise meant to be more entertaining than realistic, it's no surprise that if The Purge was actually real, it wouldn't be anything like it is in the movies. Same can be said if Godzilla was real, he'd just die under his own weight. I'm an overly critical downer on fictional worlds not designed for accuracy, I know. If The Purge happened in real life, it would backfire spectacularly. It goes without saying, there's no possibility that anybody would ever go along with this. Like, people in the middle class are hiding in their suburban homes, fearing for their lives, and you think they'll vote for Founding Fathers in November? So on Purge Night for 12 hours, there are no rules, except two. No killing of important government officials, but I think they got rid of that, I don't know. And also, don't use bombs or explosives. Somehow from just this purge night, unemployment is down, the economy is fantastic, everything is great, because people let out their anger. The in-universe explanation for this is that so many people are killed off every purge night, that unemployment goes down. <sighs> That's not how economics work. Unemployment wouldn't, in fact, go down. It'd get worse. The entire US economy would just collapse. None of those rules ever said anything against the biggest crimes of all. White collar crime, financial crime. Can you imagine how much embezzlement, fraud, insider trading, and stealing of corporate money could occur in 12 hours? The rich people coming up with the idea of breaking the law would just be destroying their own lives. While rich grandma was drinking that vodka martini, her stock plummeted to the Marianas Trench. Who would have faith anymore in the American dollar? How would the United States even be counted as a global economy if on one night, all shady transactions, deals, and corruption could easily occur? Americans wouldn't be living in happiness, they'd be living like Venezuela. Counterfeit money could even be printed, and then you just say that you printed it on the purge. It's not like they could prove it, which is... A whole other issue I'm going to get into. There's a lot to tackle about this scenario. Grandma, can I have that martini? Now you're saying, but Cody, maybe they have some system in place that makes sure no financial crimes can happen. It's at night anyway, so it's not like there's a lot of business happening. And to that I say, okay. Except also, everything is burning down. Firemen and police officers can't be on the streets during the purge. And if you do a crime, like arson, that's dandy too. Nothing against that, and I'm sure there wouldn't be anybody who would want to get some of that insurance money. You know, your house or property burns down, you blame it on some psychos, the ones that are everywhere. Imagine how many buildings and cities would be up in flames, left uncontrolled because the firemen can't even go outside. Nobody would want to invest in the cities. Think of poor California. They'd be dealing with those fires until the next purge. I talk about that in the last video, but I want to expand on it. In this universe, entire cities can catch on fire, and everyone is still employed? What if one of those things that happened to catch on fire was an oil refinery, or a gas line, or an electrical power plant? Now that I think of it, somebody could cause quite the mischief to an undefended electrical power plant. Are there guards at each and every power plant across the country? Would people give their lives to defend a generator, or would they perhaps want to be at home and protect their families? I'd imagine at least some people could break in and destroy a generator or two, the types that take months to replace. So now not only after every purge night are the cities and wilderness on fire, but there's also potentially nationwide blackouts as well. Good one, Founding Fathers. And the oddest thing is, if it was real, how could anybody prove that a crime happened on the purge? In-universe, it is your constitutional right as an American 
to purge, which means that any debate about a crime that happened on the purge becomes a constitutional debate. You could argue about whether you clobbered your neighbor Jimmy with a brick on the purge or not to the Supreme Court. If there was any gray area about when a crime was committed, that could become a federal case. What is happening? Now, the in-universe explanation is that nobody really likes the purge except the rich, and people go along with it because it makes society better. But if it was real, it wouldn't. If anything, the rich people have the most to lose. The Founding Fathers would just be creating headaches for themselves, wasting government money and their own energy to rebuild the country every year. The court systems would just be a mess. Those rich people owning the property would just have it all burned down and their finances stolen. Nobody would trade or do business with the United States if it became some lawless state one night a year. What kind of investment is that? Not to mention the complete, utter isolation this new America would find itself in. We're feeling the pain from a trade war right now. Imagine if we had government-sponsored anarchy once a year. Honestly, if the purge was real, most people would probably just move out west, stay as far away from the cities as possible. But even through the flaws of this scenario, really in any medium, as long as you make an interesting story, people won't care. Which is something that the movies haven't done, which is why people talk about stuff like this. Honestly, if you enjoy the franchise, that's fine. I enjoy it for what it is. What it is is a setting to explore one night of chaos with horror and action. It's not something you should really think about, or your head will just hurt. This new show does the characters well, and explains their motivations which are relatable and understandable. I see the potential. I feel like it could explore the villain motivations far better. Maybe that cartoonish exterior eventually reveals itself as something more nuanced. If you're interested in that sort of violence and mayhem, then watch the new series The Purge on USA Network. It's supposed to be 10 episodes taking place over one Purge night. It's airing every Tuesday, and this is Cody of Alternate History Hub.